where are we going to go from here? I'm going to quickly talk about where we're going to go in the future. What I'm going to do is explain how to set up silt screens so that you can vertically silt screen onto windows. It, if you're doing a lot of repeat showings, it's the way to go. Um, Cause some of this stuff gets really delicate. And in a couple of minutes, I'm going to show you an example of a screen job I did where I had to do two types of gold on every window uh, to the entrances of Union Station in Chicago. That'll be in a moment. Um, but I do want to tell you about books that will be very useful to you as you go along. The Gold Leaf Techniques book, which Kent Smith redid, many years ago, that book is based upon the information from the Raymond LeBlanc book. Kent updated it, and he updated this book with this book, which I'm very pleased to have. I do highly recommend that you get at least this book. This has been filled with notes from Many of my friends have had it a long, long time. So do consider purchasing one of those. I do highly recommend the Atkinson book. This is from around 1910, I believe. And um, it was from a fellow who was actually in Local 830, the union that I belong to. And this goes into extreme detail. There's Frank Atkinson um, about how to do gold leaf and all the other stuff. A lot of the information is somewhat archaic, but a lot of the basic information in this book still applies. A lot of alphabets in the back that would still apply. Extremely good book. If you're gonna buy two books, I recommend you get this, you get this. Now, a good friend of mine, I'm a name dropper now, Noel Weber, did this sketchbook, um, which he's had out for some time. And this consists of lots and lots and lots of alphabets and designs that are extremely inspiring. Hope you're a speed reader. Anyway, mm -hmm. unbelievably good. I'll just lay these out so you can get a decent look at them. So well, once again, the Gold Leaf, the Atkinson, that's extremely inspiring. Um, if you can't get this and can see this, latch onto it immediately. There are a couple of um, organizations that you might want to consider looking into. There's the Society of Gilders, a um, large group of people from around the world that make their living doing Gold Leaf. And it's everything from signage to architectural restoration to real high-end, huge pieces of glass that go inside buildings, on ceilings, all over the world, um, to instruments, to furniture, to everything you can imagine re regarding the application of gold leaf. So the Society of Gilders is something that you may want to look into. I'm a part of it. Um, this is the most recent thing. Um, there was a, uh, an enclave in St. Paul, Minnesota, a couple of months ago, where a bunch of us uh, got together. And there were tutorials right and left, up and down, from extremely guild gifted gilders. I'm talking about suppliers now, people that I've worked with since the 70s. WB Gold used to be Waring and Bill, it still is Waring and Bill Meyer Gold, suppliers to the industry. They basically got everything you need. I know there are other suppliers around. This is just simply the, the company I've worked with since the 70s, and I really can't recommend anybody higher. So 
Another book that I really, really strongly recommend. I got this for 12 bucks. My first one, this is a fifth edition. I think my first one was possibly the third or fourth edition. I paid a lot more money than 12 bucks for it. But this book um, probably has every question you would ever need to ask regarding every type of artwork from projecting to chemistry to paint types to layout. It's just, you can put this down and pick it up any day of the week and just get yourself loaded with information. So as far as the future is concerned, I think I mentioned what I plan on doing is getting into um, showing you how to set up silt screens so you can lay out and do vertical artwork. This was a demo piece for Union Station job regarding possibilities of contrast with uh, paint and 12 karat gold and 23 karat gold all paint as a background, um, the various types of general application. But when I got this job, then I did every single window in the entrances to Union Station. And I think it was back in 1991 and 92. Anyway, um, kind of a neat job. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to show you that. So you can see what kind of direction you can go in regarding work. That was kind of, uh, I'm not going to call it industrial, but again, one of these large organizations that wanted work done. So you can go in every kind of direction, whether it's um, architectural, banks, um, churches, all sorts of establishments where you can make plenty of money. So that's it for just this moment. I'll be back to you in about a minute. All right, everyone. Um, what I'm going to do is briefly show you some work that has been completed, uh, showing you stuff. We can go in various directions with this, this type of work. This is by Anne McDonald from New Zealand. So is this, showing um, abalone shell in the center of the letter, that type of thing. I'm going to change over and show you an old, old job, which was done in Chicago for the Ritz Carlton. Okay. So nice. Okay. Now, just uh, maybe one more thing. We're going to save some other things for another day. You may have heard of an item called smots which is what this stuff is back here. It can be made handmade by the artists or it can be ground glass, which comes in all different colors. So this is just a small background with a variegated leaf uh, gilt. We can go into much more detail as the new videos come up. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed some of it. I think I'll show off my collage that I'm slowly putting together. And that's it. Toodaloo.